What is going on, drones? Uh, we're back. We'll take a look at another mock draft. Charles Davis put out his 2.0, a great announcer, uh, works in NFL Network as well. I, I love me some Charles Davis. He's really di dialed in with the league. So uh, the the mock drafts of some of the insiders or people with inside knowledge of how front offices and scouts think and feel about players, uh, a li little bit more credence. Uh, so I, I love diving into these. Uh, so let's dive in and see who the Vikings get. One, Trevon Walker. So I, I think that the specter of Walker going one, is still certainly there. Uh, I don't buy the hype. I, I think it's much more likely that he's the number one overall pick than if he falls out of the top 10. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but Walker getting some love at one. Very interesting. Number two, Hutchinson. Yes, Lions. Just uh, don't screw this thing up. Although, it, it'll be interesting. If Walker goes one, do they go Hutchinson? Or I think that the, the chance of them taking Malik Willis at two is legit. So do you take uh, the hometown kid uh, who did great things in Ann Arbor? Or do you take Malik Willis? Mm, potential future franchise. Three, Texans. Uh, Evan Neal replacing Tunsil. Needs some protection for Davis Mills. Yush. Four, Sauce Gardner. Wow. I love it, man. Sauce. Yeah, he is an alpha one. And... Yeah, I, I doubt that the Vikings will even have a sniff of getting him unless they trade up. Uh, but the Jets, Rob Salah, getting himself a, an alpha cornerback one. Five, Ike Iquanu. Iquanu and Andrew Thomas figure things out. Uh, you got two good buckhand tackles for Daniel Jones. That's it. They, they try to work things out. Six, Malik Willis uh, coming off the board QB1 uh, going to the Panthers. I think that's a good spot for him. Uh, do like the weapons there in uh, Carolina. I think he could do some nice things with Robbie Anderson. Now, offensive line still needs a little bit of help, but what can you do? Seven, uh, Giants Thibodeau falls a little, but uh, the Giants double dip on both sides of the trenches. Uh, eight, Falcons. Now, they could go quarterback here, certainly. Uh, Pickett, Corral, whoever, whatever you want to do. And maybe even Des Desmond Ritter. Uh, but Jermaine Johnson, the second, the pride of Eden Prairie, Florida State, former Georgia Bulldog, getting after it on the edge. Nine. Seahawks certainly could be in the market for a quarterback, but they're also in the market for a cornerback. Lost a couple of free agency. Derek Stingley Jr. going to Seattle. Ah, it hurts. What can you do? 10, the Jets. This is what you can do with two first-round picks. Jamison Williams healing up from that ACL. Jamison Williams and Zach Wilson will be just a fantastic dynamic duo. Also got Ja Moore running around. Uh, Corey Davis is, is in the Big Apple, too, so it's interesting. 11, uh, Washington taking Garrett Wilson. So second wide receiver off the board. Uh, G-Dub uh, joining uh, fellow Buckeye wide receiver to scary Terry McLaurin uh, in Washington. So the Vikings at 12. So, top two cornerbacks are off the board. I'm perfectly fine with McDuffie here. Here's what he writes. With Patrick Peterson resigning, this is a great opportunity to bring in a talented youngster who will benefit uh, from being around a future Hall of Famer. And McDuffie, I love McDuffie. He, we called him 5'11", Antoine Winfield Sr. Uh, he's just a guy who gets after it. Uh, great hips. Uh, you know, Might be the best tackling cornerback in the draft. Uh, a little bit more of a zone cornerback than a man cornerback, but the Vikings certainly can scheme that up. Now, the problem is, you got McDuffie, you got Kyle Hamilton on board too, which I think that the Hamilton fall could be real uh, just because he didn't test the greatest as well as he plays at, uh, at a position that is seen as less desirable at the top of the draft, which I don't get. Uh, I think Kyle Hamilton is a friggin' unicorn, but be choosing between Hamilton and McDuffie, I would take Hamilton. But it's really close. It is really close. Uh, mainly because second round 46, maybe you get Gordon or maybe uh, McDuffie's teammate of Washington. Maybe you get McCreary. Uh, there's going to be some good quarterbacks there. And don't get me wrong, there's going to be some great day two uh, safeties as well. But I think the drop off between Hamilton and the rest of the safeties versus McDuffie versus the rest of the corners, ah, it, it would just hurt. It would just hurt too much. Also, Linderbaum's there chilling, going to the Ravens at 14. So that kind of sucks. 15, uh, the Eagles take Jordan Davis. Uh, as well as Drake London. So they uh, suture up both sides of the ball. Uh, 16, the Saints take Chris Olave, CO, coming out of Ohio State. And then the, they circle around, get Devontae Wyatt. I, I, I think it's it would be shocking if the Saints didn't go quarterback with one of their two first-round picks. Who knows? Uh, Chargers. Oh, I forgot about Charles Cross. So Charles Cross at 12. That may be just a, too much of a BPA thing where – I understand you do have Darisaw and you do have Brian O'Neill, but Charles Cross is just a friggin' man, man. Yeah, just play my guard, don't care. But yeah, Charles Cross and Rashawn Slater now, in a couple years, they will be the best bookend tackles in the game. Uh, that, that's how much I think of them. Drake London, uh, uh, Jalen Hurts needs a tall receiver. 19, we talked about. All right, so 20, Steelers get Desmond Ritter. So they have their choice. 
They have Desmond Ritter, Matt Corral, uh, Kenny Pickett still there chilling, uh, but they take Desmond Ritter. And I think this is a really nice spot uh, where Ritter has a chance to walk in. He's already an upgrade over the corpse of Big Ben, and I think that he has a chance to be the most you know, pro-ready quarterback uh, in terms of him as a rookie. So he can get after a 21. Uh, Patriots need some help in the secondary. Uh, lost Gilmore last year. Lost J.C. Jackson for agency to the Chargers for all the money. Uh, Andrew Booth Jr., lengthy, uh, the way that Belichick like, likes his corners. It makes sense. Uh, 22, the Packers taking Jahan Dotson. That's a problem. That is going to be an issue. And then the Packers later on circle around get tre- uh, Trevor Penning. Uh, so now they finally have a competent right tackle, which that's going to suck. That's going to suck. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, 23, Cardinals taking Traylon Burks because they got to replace tr- uh, Christian Kirk. Great. 24, Kenyon Green makes a ton of sense here uh, for the Cowboys as their offensive line took a step back. Kyler Gordon, 25, gets into the first round uh, by the Bills. Him and Trey White, really nice duo there. Uh, 26, now the Titans. If Kenny Pickett gets a 26, I wouldn't be shocked if the Titans took him or Matt Corral, but uh, George Karlaftis, Greek freak, uh, getting things done opposite of Harold Landry, 27. Bucks getting a ZJ because uh, they lost Kappa as well as uh, uh, Ali Marpet retired. So they need some help on the interior offensive line. Zion Johnson walks in there. Uh, Petting we talked about. Chiefs back-to-back. Christian Watson, uh, developmental physical freak wide receiver, makes a lot of sense with Andy Reid. Boye Mafe getting things, uh, getting after where they need some help on the edge, and Mafe is going to just be a dude from day one. Uh, 31, Bengals check the boxes in offensive line for agency. Kyra Lam, the Xavier Rhodes clone, uh, coming in for them. Uh, and then also 32, you got Kenny Pickett, uh, top 10, top 10, top 10. Ta- top 10 talent falls all the way to the Lions uh, at 32. So uh, that's great value for them. So uh, getting it. And, yeah, so at 12, I forgot about Charles Cross, not going to lie. Uh, but, yeah, here at 12, ta- uh, it, it is a trade-down opportunity. But if you don't get uh, enough compensation to move down, uh, just take a McDuffie at this spot. Although it's a tough decision between Hamilton and Cross and McDuffie and Linderbaum. But it is what it is. Vikings got themselves a great cornerback. Uh, we move on. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Take a look at Charles Davis's Mock Draft 2.0. Uh, let us know your thoughts on our thoughts on his thoughts. Nailed it in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.